Hey folks, it's Antar, and I'm back with my fourth narrated PBR friend battle, my 14th battle overall, and it's a rematch against Short Gamer one uh, After I beat him with my Raindance team, uh, he demanded a rematch, and uh, after a little while I said alright, but as long as he agreed to use a different team, and so we agreed on OU singles. Um, and I chose Crystal Coliseum because who doesn't love the soft glow of the crystals? Um, and here we go. Uh, I start off with um, Crobat, as I always do, and he starts off with Umbreon. Uh, good for me. U-turn will deal a special, a, um, uh, crit not critical hit, super effective hit, although Umbreon is extremely bulky and so doesn't really do much. And I can switch into my uh, Stealth Rock team, or my Stealth Rock guy, uh, Empoleon. Unfortunately, uh, I screwed up, and I've been using this pass for random battles, and this isn't my version of Tux that has Stealth Rock. So I realized that, I'm like, oh crap, uh, he confused me anyway, so I pull back Tux, um, and send Crobat back out just to keep do uh, dealing U-turn damage. Um, Midnight, his Umbreon uses Shadow Ball, um, does a little bit of damage, not too much. Um, although Stella's special defense falls. Um, don't know if I've said this before, but uh, Stella, the name is a reference to one of my favorite children's books as a kid, Stella Luna, which was about uh, a bat who's raised by owls. Yeah, it was nice and corny, and I don't know. I was a kid. Um, so he uses Dark Pulse, which after the spec death uh, drop does a whole lot of damage. So, um, but I'm pulling... Uh, Crobat out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Stella uses U-Turn. Uh, super effective, but man, is that guy bulky. Um, you'll notice I, I removed all the selection screens, which I don't like to do for friend battles, but this battle was so freaking long. Uh, you can see in the time uh, code that uh, it's 10 minutes and 52 seconds long, and that's with editing out all the selection screens and everything. Um, you know, I could have looked into speeding everything up, but who likes to watch a jolting uh, battle anyway? The Shadow Ball, um, Tux resists it, doesn't really do much, and Tux can hit back uh, with Hydro Pump, uh, which gets a crit uh, and takes out Midnight. Uh, the first KO goes to me. <clears throat> I love Umbreon. I, I need to raise one. Uh, I'm actually planning on including one on an OU singles team at some or an OU doubles team at some point. I think um, Hitmonchan uh, can do awful things to Tux, what with its weakness against um, fighting. So I switch in um, my Crobat, who 4x resists fighting moves, and that actually did a, a little bit of damage even with the 4x uh, resist. So I'm really glad I switched it out. Uh, Stella uses Roost to recover the damage. That thing could be running fire, uh, Thunder Punch or Ice Punch. So, yeah, and indeed it uses Ice Punch, which isn't going to be super effective since I used Roost. Um, but then, oh, uh, he gets the, an awful bit of hacks. Stella gets frozen. I am, st and uh, I'm so pissed. Um, he uses uh, Thunder Punch, which is super effective. Um, and gets a crit. Not sure if it would have uh, KO'd uh, without the crit. Uh, I'll do some calculations. Um, but doesn't matter. I doubt uh, Crobat would have been waking up from that uh, from that freeze. And I don't have a cleric on this team. Um, Zen Headbutt uh, does uh, gets him down to one HP with the Focus Sash. Um, and I just keep using Zen, Zen Headbutt to take him out. Uh, close combat um, did a fair amount of dr to Jirachi, uh, but uh, it's not weak against it, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, so there we go. Uh, out he sends his Zangoose, um, and I pull back Jirachi because Zen Headbutt isn't the best move to use against him, and send out instead my Mamoswine. Uh, and he uses X scissors, so I'm pretty happy because I'm like, well, whatever. X scissors not going to do too much. Um, Slasher uses Swords Dance um, to boost his attack, and I'm like, all right, sweet, I get in a free attack. Um, and I use Super Power for the super effective hit, but he's got a Focus Sash, uh, and he's faster than me, so um, 
not no, not too good for me. Oh yeah, and my attack and defense have also taken a hit. So I pull back um, my Thumpa Loop, my uh, Mammal Swine, because I know that whatever he's going to do is going to take him out, uh, and send out Empoleon instead. Um, don't know why I wasn't expecting a fight, fighting type move, um, but oh well. Uh, so Tux ends up being Death Fodder. Um, yeah, still waiting to use that Lychee Berry. Um, anyway, Tux goes down. Uh, poor little Death Fodder. Um, and his his going down is actually going to prove really inconvenient later on. Uh, even though I so I send Poopaloop back out to use Ice Shard, which even though um, Slasher is faster, doesn't matter because um, Ice Shard takes priority. Um, so he is down uh, another guy. I think that's three to two. Um, that's another bad part about editing out the selection screens. You can't see where in the match we are. Um, I'm going to try to put in the annotations a running count of how many KOs we've each sustained. Um, so yeah, he sends out Arcanine, and I don't have my water type to counter him. Um, so I've basically got to go against people who will take neutral damage. Uh, Skun Tank, I figure, is a good choice. Um, he uses Flamethrower, which really doesn't do too much. I figure I can get him with Sucker Punches. And then, of course, he gets um, he gets another bit of hacks. He uh, Kenyon gets burned. Um, not my day. Uh, he uses Endure. Uh, I guess he's expecting the Sucker Punch. Um, I think Short Gamer 1 has watched my battles. Um, so, wasted turn. Um, but he's got to attack at some point, so I keep using Sucker Punch, which, with the burn, uh, is not going to do too much damage. Uh, and Fang, his Arcanine, is going to take out uh, Kenyon with another Flamethrower. Uh, too bad, Kenyon. Um, I'm thinking about replacing that Skun Tank. Uh, you know, it's a beast in UU and um, NU for sure, but uh, I don't think it really can stand up in OU. Uh, Pazuzu, uh, my Zapdos, uses Discharge, um, which uh, activates his Lychee Berry. I mean, come on. Ugh. One day, my Lychee Berry on my Empoleon is going to activate. I, I'm telling you this. Um, anyway, I take out uh, Fang with another Discharge. Um, I mean, it was Death Fodder uh, at this point. Uh, and he sends out Venusaur. And I'm like, okay, I can handle that. I've got Heat Wave. Um, does a lot of damage and I'm happy. Um, but then he uses Sleep Powder, and man, you know, okay, this isn't hacks because Sleep Powder has 75% accuracy, but a little bit of luck would have been nice right now for me. Um, that's okay, I send out Jirachi for the super effective Zen Headbutts. He uses Leech Seed, um, uh, which is going to be quite annoying. Um, He's got leftovers on his Venusaur anyway, so that guy's just going to be um, regaining a whole bunch of HP. Um, so I use Zen Headbutt here, and get, he gets another bit of hacks. Zen Headbutt misses. Ah, oh, man, this is just not my day. Um, Sleep Powder misses. I, I guess he used it. He didn't realize that um, Sleep Claws was in effect. I always play my matches with Sleep Claws when I can, um, specifically because of that. Um, and Zen Headbutt uh, takes out his Venusaur, luckily, um, which is nice. I didn't, you know, that guy is bulky, and I didn't want to have to deal with it for too much longer. Um, and so he sends out uh, his Yan Mega, which I believe is his last Pokemon. Um, I pull back Jirachi and send in uh, my sleeping Zapdos in its place. I figure Zapdos has got to wake up at some point, and when he does, he can deal a super effective discharge. Um, so, uh, Speedy gets a speed boost, uh, appropriate name, I love Yon Mega. Um, he uses Ancient Power for the, um, super effective hit, um, but Pazuzu is bulky, so, uh, it's surviving okay, um, just waiting for him to wake up, another Ancient Power, uh, I'm just hoping he doesn't get a stat boost, because that would be awful, um, Speedy keeps on getting stat boosts. Um, Anyway, uh, he uses Air Slash. Not sure why. I guess, you know, um, Pazuzu was exerting pressure, so maybe he was trying to save that uh, ancient, uh, ancient power. Um, yeah, for some reason, I'll, I sometimes call it Ancient Rock. I keep forgetting its name. 
Um, yeah, okay, so Pazuzu goes down, unfortunately. Oh, well, um, you know, Death Fighter, I guess, uh, wouldn't have done much good at any other point in the match. So Poopa Loop goes out and Ice Charge this thing. Um, it, that's a hit, but it, I don't know. Crappy animation. Uh, that thing totally looked like a miss. He uses Air Slash. Not exactly sure why. I think Bug Buzz. Well, actually, no, they're both. I think Bug Buzz has more power. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I get another opportunity to Air Slash. I just think that animation is hilarious. But um, so that takes out Yan Mega, and I managed to win the match. Um, but I've only got two guys left. This was an incredibly close match uh, and so incredibly long. Um, Short Gamer won. Great battle. Everyone else, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.